I'm excited by this tutorial. It was it was uh, requested for by a uh, guy. Uh, I think uh, his name is uh, I've forgotten the name. He requested for this, and I'm so excited. I just found out that we don't have to do that. I thought we had to do it. Make a shadow for ourselves. Use the drop shadow that comes with Qt. But it turns out Qt has uh, actually supports these things in the highest, really, 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 really high. Uh, yes, so that you can just jump in and start, you know, using these things because it supports. And I don't mean using these things, but then it supports all the uh, the padding that these guys are supposed to be uh, you know, coming with. Yeah, the padding and all that. Forgive me for the background noise. I can do very little about it. All right. Yeah, and also for the uh, the shadows that you see. So yeah. Uh, without wasting much time, let's get into it. First, uh, uh, I will create. Uh, I downloaded a few of the guidelines. You can see this is offline, so that I will be able to use it. I will create a folder to uh, design, and uh, I create my KML. KML, I say new or I prefer this. You could call it anything you want. All right? I just add icons. The reason why I'm adding, you don't have to get it as you don't have to get it. I'm just pasting these things. Now you don't have to get it. You don't have these are coming straight from the material design icons to set. You don't have to get it. If you don't have it, you don't even have to use any icons. If you're using Windows 10. Uh, Windows 8. If you're not using Windows 10, Windows 8, so you don't have to get it. You can just put in A or B or C. You can see uh, we, this is what we're doing. But then before that, we'll just be putting in A or B or C. So you can just put in A or B because then it's going to be a really quick tutorial. I want to show you how to, you know, update it. I mean, how to get it up and running. And uh, yeah, so yeah, uh, that's what this is. That's what this is. Uh, yeah, you don't have to get it, but if, if you can have it on your desktop, you have material icons. Don't have it, fine. You can just use uh, normal test. I'm talking plenty. All right, so let's just start. Okay, let's just start. All right, so we're just going to import our kit to quick. The most important thing is that uh, kit to quick the controls course. Now, this is a kit to quick the controls thing. So if you don't have it, like you don't have any of there, like 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, well, you're dead, okay, then you have to go get it. But if you have it, I mean, why don't you have it if you're dead? You should have it. PyQT, not PyQT, you're using C++, whatever you have it. Okay, you have controls, because there is that, it's even 2.3, so you can have 2.1, 2.2, it has to be 2, okay? All right. Uh, of course, we've left something behind. We're gonna add it very soon. All right. So we're just gonna do a width. Uh, a width of uh, I I normally like to go five twelve, and a height of six forty. I hope uh, that's crazy, right? Uh, yeah. I will, I will change it to 500 by 800, which is nowadays what we're coming out of it. And uh, before we jump in, let's get into enabling these things, all right? Now, um, we're going to add it in here now. With this import statement, uh, like I said, it's a uh, key to controls thing. So it's a key to controls dot material. That means it's material design. We also uh, have universal design, uh, which will be my favorite. It's uh, yeah, it might it might be the same as this guy, but then two point one. Uh, yeah. Now, okay, this is supposed to enable it. Not so fast though. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and put in. Yeah, something crazy, something you never seen me put in before. A pain. It turns out they, they work really well. They don't work as well as 
they don't work as well with the, the you can put in a rectangle but and then they work really well with this guy so then we're gonna um, put in this guy uh, put in this guy and now we're gonna show you all this nonsense it gets better now you can see I'm just doing material the background and which is what the material has this is what we're going for but then we have the background and this is the foreground of course then we have the accents that are used for the um, yeah the accentuation and then we have uh, we, we have the theme and we have uh, there are five of them uh, uh, yeah, there are five of them we have uh, we have the we, we have the accent we have the background we have the color we have the uh, we have the theme yeah and the elevation we're gonna talk about it very soon it's, it's what makes this whole thing beautiful because then other than that you're gonna have to put in your drop shadow so let's just go on to it we're just gonna do a background and the background of this guy is gonna be material which is the default right the default colors material the blue uh, yeah now before we can see this yeah like I said it's this and that's it that's really really it now before we can see this of course we're gonna do our KML scene and I'm in the part where you can I can find my KML scene obviously and I'm just gonna drag and drop my UI like we've been doing all the time it's not gonna show my material I then it didn't show uh, because then my 800 is too big it's not because of the 800 uh, what maybe this thing is 600 uh, really crazy all right uh, it's quite small it's not going to show up because then uh, we have to enable and the way you enable it this is the highest way you enable it style material they are crazy right it's not don't mind it it's because it's killing me seeing that's telling me all this nonsense now you can see our blue thing is showing and uh, it gets better I'm, I'm losing it I'm just gonna do an arm across the center in here so that and before I show it to you I'm gonna do a theme what comes with it material the theme and I'm gonna do material the dark now uh, the, the whole thing is that all the controls all the controls that you can see um, now all the controls the radio buttons the test buttons they're all gonna look just like material design which is awesome but we ain't gonna show any of this we're just gonna go ahead for these things uh, right now which also works really well with material design it's gonna use this color I mean it's a default it works really well with it. it's a two button it's a two but it's a two bar it's a two bar but I, 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 I wanna uh, you know use the normal I can just put in the two bar like we've been doing, but then I want to use the normal. You know, two bar doesn't have layouts on. You have to put it in, just like paint. Uh, so yeah, that this time uh, I'm gonna put in what we put inside two bars, right? Two buttons. You know, but you have to if you use two buttons, works really well. Now here's where I was talking about. You can put just A in there so that your thing shows up. I'm just gonna do the same thing with the style material, and then you can see. Wow, look at the two button. It has it when you click, right? It just looks like material. And look at the pattern has all been done just as they recommend. Uh, where is look? Just as they recommend. So it wasn't really built by Google. These are the guidelines that Google has given everybody to build by. And you can see we're doing this, and it's doing it by default. Uh, the color and everything, you can see. Uh, doing it by default the color and everything guilty built it and it gets really better I'm on Windows that means I get a power if you're not on Windows 10 you can do this but I can do this for my two button because I have uh, Microsoft um, Segoi font MDL to us it allows me to do this but if you don't have it you can put in an A right so that you can see what I have I even have the icons which is uh, thicker now if you put in a test you're gonna look like a joker you, you shouldn't put in a test like I said it works really well with label if you put in a test you're gonna look like a joke so I'm gonna put in no test I'm gonna put in a label and what, the, what do we have here 
travel stream is that what i want to do my application of travel stream well let me do travel stream um here we go there there now you can see the colors are all fixed if i should do test right now now we all all go well right now we should do test right now colors are fixed and it? it's it's going crazy right now so you can do test if that's what you want but then it works really well with label and i'll put in the last guy which is the two button i know the last guy test this guy is going to be i don't remember uh the unicode for the um, magnifier now look at here we are just gonna fix it simple roll it out with parent the width now tada stretches everybody and they're all sharing i'm gonna do what we do to this guy we do it all the time now because you're right now period all right for some weird reason if your thing doesn't have the padding normally if you do an uncross the right it will just snap it directly without this space but because of it we are set to material design again is using all these guidelines of the 8888 thing if for some reason it didn't snap like if supposing this thing was on the top button it was a test god knows it was gonna do this nonsense if that's what you want you're gonna have to go in there and put in the uh, the the, uh, the margin yourself right of course i'm gonna go ahead and put in the icons that i came when you're just gonna do the icon the source you don't have to have it if you have it i have it so i'm putting in the menu and now it's more like it oh look i i still have my e with me and uh more like it uh, stick like material because there's material design icon. This guy icon the source is or uh, its name is uh, I'm gonna fix this thing because when I wanted to help me with the name, I don't remember the name. Icons search by a long name, I don't want to change it. Boom, 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 boom. Now, this guy you can see how it's stretching now the way out. It's that you can see based on the guidelines and everything. It's, on, it's not centered. It's not. So what you do is uh, actually instead of making a, you actually lay out a fill width. So this guy takes the remaining width. These guys are taking their width, and this guy will take all the remaining one. That means you're stretching the whole thing, but it itself is not centered. If that happens, you left it at that angle. The dark team, not a big fan. Maybe you are. The default is the light team. Light team, I mean. Great, great, great. Now, um, you can actually do more, like I said, uh, about the accent colors, which are responsible for. Um, you know, when you have a test input in there, it will be responsible. You can set more here. You can set background here. And when you set the background, it's gonna populate uh background now uh it's uh i'm gonna do a background of orange i'm sure it's gonna populate a lot the way you can see populated uh the, the background over there well i'm gonna do a background of gray uh it it, it it it's supposed to pass the things downwards uh the the we have background of color gray and uh it's supposed to pass these things uh on to everybody uh your your things on to everybody but it looks like i have these guys uh selected i have what well, so then definitely is using this one but then if you have these ones on top they are used for all shared across for all your things that work well in material design like i said all the radio buttons test they all work well with material design maybe we'll do more maybe we'll do more for now we won't do more there's one last thing i want to talk about i almost forgot let me take away your background gray let's bring it good the drop shadow uh they recommend that your drop shadow should be at two right as simple as two 
and when you hover it, it should be an 8. So yeah, good luck, like I said, it works really well with it if you're using the pin. And the things that work well with it, there got to be a lot of them. But because this tutorial was too commented, I just found and I wanted to jump in. I found out a long time ago, but then uh, here's the thing, I'm not a big fan of it. But then uh, I just thought that some of the things were also nice. You can see this was the new, the first material design, and this is the new material design. It doesn't look like material design rather like Microsoft Universal Design. This was material design and it was a bit horrible. Uh, worse than that, the edges and all that were horrible. And so now they are changing from their own, uh, you know, they're contradicting themselves now. And uh, I wish I had time to show you more of it. This used to be Google Search. This is how Google Search looked like. Now they're saying don't. And they are doing this. So they contradict themselves a lot. It, it appears that little little children um, drafted these things they invented drop shadow they together with w3c invented drop shadow on the internet but then uh, that's all they boast of <laughs> so crazy i didn't like it i wasn't a big fan of it but then uh, i found out qt uses it in a beautiful way they don't have to they are going against their own words nicely so yeah that's okay so here's the elevation uh, I want the background to be bottom for some crazy reason. Hope you're still there. Here's the elevation too. Ha, how cool is that? Really cool. Boom. Now you can see the elevation is over there. It's a two. I will go over and change it to eight so that uh, it, it, you can see it at your end. I hope you can see it at your end that it's actually now eight and then we had it at two. I hope this should be the tutorial. This should be the end of the tutorial um, of uh, material design introduction. And uh, I hope you like it. I like it. We all like it. But let's see where this nonsense take us. I, I don't call it nonsense, okay? Because now they look good. At least now that the low use me. So let's see. How far we came? Oh, we tried. We did try a little bit. Uh, so yeah, we're not interested in making a long tutorial. This is for desktop. They have actually guidelines for desktop and guidelines for a frame. I mean guidelines for tablet and guidelines for which tablet can be used for desktop. So yeah. See you in the next tutorial if I do more material design. See you. Bye.